Yo, what's up guys? My previous again with yet another video for you guys. And today being December the 26th of 2022, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support you've been giving me this year with the views, the comments, the likes, all the stuff, the feedback is really appreciated. And what a better way to end this year than with a brand new video. This time we'll be reviewing and unboxing the latest collaboration between Nike and Travis Scott, this being the Air Jordan 1 Lows in the Phantom colorway. And let me tell you, this is one of the best unboxings I've ever seen. And if you want to see why, stick up for the review. Let's go! guys my name is Mike welcome to the channel here we are wrapping 2022 with yet another video for you guys and I think that you will agree with me when I say that this year it's been a crazy year speaking about sneakers we have some really cool new colorways really cool new silhouettes and also some really fire collaborations we have for example the Nike and Nocta collaboration the Nike and Union LA Obviously, the Nike and Concept Lobster that dropped a few weeks ago. But if we speak about hype, no one does it better than Travis Scott. So that's why for this video we'll be unboxing the latest collaboration between Nike and Travis Scott, the Nike Air Jordan 1 in the Phantom colorway. And as I just said on the intro, this is not just about the sneakers. This is more, I would say, about the unboxing experience, about the accessories included with this box. And obviously we can see it as soon as we take a look at the package. This time we also have a protective case for the box in a matte black colorway with a bunch of logos on the exterior. The Nike Air, the Jordan Wings logo and the school, the Travis Scott school all around the box. Really cool detail and when we take this off, we can see that for the Travis Scott colorways they always take for example with this one here the Travis Scott Reverse Mocha, they take the colors of the sneaker and reflect it on the box. So obviously for this one, the all black phantom colorway, we are not surprised when we find it. The whole box, as you can see on the 360 or the box, is based on a glossy and also a matte colorway for the whole box. And in case you are wondering, this is the information about the sneaker. And even though those are some really cool details for the unboxing, that's not the best part yet. Because once we take the lid off, that's when we will find the biggest surprise for this unboxing. Each sneaker individually wrapped in this very beautiful bandana black with some kind of lilac accents. And as you can see on the details here, each bandana has some details as the Cactus Jack logo all over it the German logo and just beneath it, the Cactus Jack School as well. Now, one thing I don't really understand is, for example, on the reverse mocha, they went for this kind of wrapping paper, okay? Custom wrapping paper with all the logos stamped all over it, like on the like on the protective shelf. But on this case, for the Black Panther, we find a plain white wrapping paper, very, I don't know, very simple for me. If you ask me, I would have put a black custom wrapping paper, same as on this one, but for example with an all black and a darker shadow of black with all the logos, same as this one, but I don't know, this, I don't like it the most, but it is what it is. Now, enough with the unboxing itself, let's go with the review. As you can see, really cool, beautiful pair of sneakers. you were wondering this dropped the last December 15th okay worldwide for a price of 150 euros and as you may expect for a Travis Scott collaboration this is crazy high right now on the resale market I think the average is selling around 800 to 900 euros which for me is a crazy price for an old black sneaker but have in mind as always Travis Scott plus Nike equals crazy resale value. And if you are not new to the channel, you know that I always like to show you some on-fit shots of the sneakers I review. But in this case, I wasn't able to cop a personal pair, okay? This is a friend of mine. So, as this is not my size and also not my personal, I will not be reviewing it. But just have in mind that the size, if it's true to size, if it's the same as on the reverse mocha, just have that in mind in case you want to go for the resale market. And with that said, let's start with the review of the sneaker itself. 
The first thing we see when we take a first glance of the sneakers is that we also have some extra laces, okay? But instead of having the color matching, like for example on the reverse mocha we have dark brown, we have white and we have red, the colors of the main sneaker. On the black pantoms we just have the black matching the whole aesthetic of the sneaker, also a black and white colorway, uh, also a red, and if you ask me, I think this one, the black and white, is the one that matches the sneaker the best, but that's just my opinion, and we can also see that this is no regular pair of laces, this has some kind of waxy treatment, okay, so it's a bit more shiny and also a bit more stiff, it gives a better feeling like of premium materials on the sneaker, and speaking obviously of materials, we can see that the whole sneaker is made out of different kinds of leather, starting for example on the mudguard, we can see a very short haired suede, and it's the same that we find right here on the eyelids, and if we move a bit upwards to the toe box right here, we can see the second kind of leather we find, this is notebook also changes the appearance of the leather as soon as you put your finger on it and moving to the top we can see that we also find these waxy laces right here and underneath we see this black nylon for the tongue and right on top we can find the Nike tag right here Nike Air and the cactus jack with a bright red logo and as soon as we take a quick look on the interior of the shoe we can see that this time the sock liner of the sneaker is not a fabric for example if we compare it with the old reverse mocha we can see that in this case we just have fabric on top on the whole sock liner but at least on this one on the black phantom we can see that this is kind of wool and speaking obviously on the interior we can see the insoles have a bit of layer of customization as well with the Travis Scott printed on it as well as the Nike Air on red and the Travis Scott school on top and in case you want to see this is what the tag shows for this sneaker and that's basically all for the interior moving back to the exterior of the sneaker we can see that this being obviously a Travis Scott sneaker we find a very big reverse swoosh on the exterior and on the interior a normal size swoosh right here this and this the interior and the exterior side of the sneaker being novel and in case you are wondering you can almost don't see it on here but as well as on all the previous Air Jordan ones if we take a closer look we can see actually that beneath the logo, beneath the swoosh, we see the Cactus Jack logo in a kind of glossy black paint stamped right here below the interior swoosh and wrapping all the materials up we can see that for the heel and the heel parts right here they went for a similar short hair suede as the one we see on the front and on the pillars right here with the right shoe showing Air Jordan and this tiny bag or bead that we find on the left side of the sneaker on the heel pad and I don't know about you but I have no idea what this represents because on this one on the reverse mocha we can see that we have a steel cactus jack school embroidered on the heel pad some people say it has to be some kind of reference to his daughter Stormy but if you ask me I don't know 100% for sure if you know this let me know in the comments and last but not least, we can see that for the mid sole as well as on the sole, they also went and decided to give it a martyr black design. And I don't know if you like it or not, but me, even though I'm not the biggest fan of an old black sneaker, this I will give it a chance just because of the materials, very premium, and this being a very low sneaker and also with the white accents on the stitching right here. I think I will give it a try and keep it for personal if this was my pair but sadly for me that's not the case now you may be wondering how do they fit as I just said this is not my pair that's why this is a 43 US but I can assure you that this being the same model as this one this fits true to size so in case you want to buy this from a recent market you should go true to size and with that said guys, that will be all for the review. Remember, if you want to see more pictures, additional content, you can follow me also on my private TikTok, this right here, at Mike Reviews. And also, if you want to see some more additional content sneaker related, you can also follow me on my personal Instagram, at Mike.alc. And with that said, if you like the video, please give the thumbs up, comment something on the comment section. And obviously, if you are not already, please subscribe to the channel. And see you on the next video. Bye.